Okay, we are back in Baldur's Gate. Today, we are actually gonna get a tattoo. I made it this time, because we're there. Um, I will be leaving, like, on and off here at the beginning, because I gotta go keep track of the maple syrup that we're making. So, here at the beginning, it's gonna be a little rough, because I gotta leave, like, every 10 minutes. But, I'm so excited to actually finally get an act too. <laughs> Damn, that loaded fast. Mattis was talking about gander. I thought he said gender. <laughs> like, Mattis is reinforcing genderism. <laughs> I don't want to have a gender. and it's never loading assets. What is happening here? Oh, click heels. Do that, do that. Do that there. That I have a gander at the finest stop. <gasps> His Majesty. Every single time I have failed to be friends with that cat. This run is not gonna be that time. Is that Dark Maul the Wicked? I don't believe it. His territory ran from the Wood of Sharp Teeth to Cloakwood. It took half an army to drive him out. How did he end up here? Wait, that bell? Dark Maul the Wicked? <laughs> the terror of Cliffwood! <laughs> you stole away more children than any vampire. And look at you now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that the Saurian's just like... In the time when he wasn't going through hell. Um... Would like, steal away books and read about like, urban and legend and stuff like that. Cause that's the second bear that, that he's known about. Did he recognize the one down it's in uh, dark more than wicked. the Thane basement too? Imagine meeting him in the flesh. Or rather, in the hide and stuffing. Everything from the wood of sharp teeth to cloakwood was his hunting ground. Until a small army rallied to take him down. Story. Oh, Carlos is gonna be cute. Dark more than wicked! Legendary king of the forest. Legend has it, his kingdom ran from the wood of sharp teeth to cloak wood. How'd he end up here? <laughs> so cute. Let's get going. Premium trinkets and doodahs.
Lawrence is clear, ma'am. Good. You'll leave soon? And we don't want any surprise. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. Oh. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh... Yeah. I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. Aww. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. I want to learn how to fight back, too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. Aww. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though. Aww. You'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Aww. Kid really looks up to you. That's nice to see. It is, isn't it? I hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Don't that was so cute. Check it out. Oh. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Okay, I will be right back.
Okay, I am back. Mm. Yours is the first happiest face I've seen in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? True that. You got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Moore gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. <laughs> <laughs> Most said I could have it. Surely this roll fails. Oh my lord. No, she didn't. <laughs> Give it her, I'm telling Mole. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I love you. Trinkets and doodads. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Of course, the first thing we do is swindle a child. I love this game. You know what? I, actually, I think that's fair. He swindled me. He freaking stole my stuff. Open up. Oh, hello. Last light's best bargains right here. Oh wait. Then... <gasps> oh, boo! I wish I could wear boots. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Obviously, that's not the case anymore. Seems someone's been skimming our supplies. Is anyone keeping an eye on those children from El Maybe not, Mum. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest Ceres. shop. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. What happened? Where's Zevlor? Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. But they were toying with us, making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others, maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse.
Oh, this is the best day of my life. It's been like three months since Sama's seen his child. <laughs> Okay. I gotta go check the maple syrup again. I'll be right back.
Okay. Uh, I didn't find the place. Yeah, there's some cool got them. Maybe the curse. For Baldur's Gate. Um. You did right. You do not want to be a prisoner of the absolute. Oops. Prison's the best I can hope for the ones we left behind. Zevlor seemed to think the cult wanted us alive. I almost hope he never found out why. Trolls report more activity among the cultists, Mum. Preparing to march, I wager. Seems that way. Oh, I should see Joe. Premium trinkets and doodahs! Plans to do nothing. Any help from Jahir? She wants to say anything we need to save the city. But she doesn't care. <laughs> this is a I would do that for her. Mm. But her focus is on stopping the cult. Ramon. Eli's doing her best. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. It's been so long, bro. The boulders get hot. It's been like 80 days. Patience. <laughs> Oh my recovery. lord, I can't do this. This is like overload. Who goes charging into those shadows is dead. So the plan is to do nothing. I'm actually so crying. This is so awesome. So excited. We need a way into the towers. I intend to So much is happening. I'm overwhelmed. I can't even play the game right now. <laughs> Any help from Jahir? She wants the same thing we do. Oh no, guys. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives. Dance. I'll be right back. I wouldn't go that far. But her focus is on stopping the cult, and I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Daylight's doing her best. She shows no signs of waking. We can wait. But Baldur's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. <sighs> Patience. He may know a way through the curse. We don't even know if he'll ever recover. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows is dead. So the plan is to do nothing? Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns? Far from it. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find one. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help from Jahira? She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. But her focus is on stopping the cult, and I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Jaylar's doing her best, but he shows no signs of waking. We can wait. But Baldur's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. <sighs> Patience. He may know a way through the curse. We don't even know if he'll ever recover. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows is dead. So the plan is to do nothing. Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Far from it. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find one. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help from Jahira? She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. But her focus is on stopping the cult. And I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Jaylar's doing her best, but he shows no signs of waking. We can wait. But Baldur's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. <sighs> Patience. He may know a way through the curse. We don't even know if he'll ever recover. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows is dead. So the plan is to do nothing. Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Far from it. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find one. 
What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help from Jahira? She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. But her focus is on stopping the cult, and I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Jaila's doing her best, but he shows no signs of waking. We can wait. But Baldur's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. <sighs> Patience. He may know a way through the curse. We don't even know if he'll ever recover. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows is dead. So the plan is to do nothing? Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns? Far from it. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find one. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help from Jahira? She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. But her focus is on stopping the cult, and I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Jaila's doing her best, but he shows no signs of waking. We can wait. But Baldur's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. <sighs> Patience. He may know a way through the curse. We don't even know if he'll ever recover. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows is dead. So the plan is to do nothing? Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns? Far from it. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find one. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help from Jahira? She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I okay. Won't I think everything is like calming down a little bit more now so I can actually focus on the game. I should have known that recording at the same time as the QSMP event was a terrible idea. But you know, I'm not very intelligent. Oh, Herman! Hello, the Chiantar. Here you find a rich history of the Chianthar River, evidently a flowed through half a dozen settlements, more and more springing up over time. The picture this book evokes is is that last what and the picture this book evokes is that last a hundred years one of barges drifting over the orange water under a burning autumn sky and the barges smelling of cast wine salted pork exciting spices less exciting spices like rosemary uh, which is still fragrant and nice but altogether not terribly exciting and children running barefoot by the banks waving to the grinning sweating sailors from their play among the river reeds Harper's testimonial. One, a Harper's testimonial, the last stand of Catholic Thorn, chosen Shar. The pursuant text describes a battle between Catholic Thorn's faithful and magical Harper forces. I do not know what magic the darkest sisters summoned to our plane, but if it came from the weave, then let it be cured, cursed for eternity. For three days we siege the towers, for three days the dark bolts cleaved our ranks, and on the third day, as his men and women at last began to fall, Catholic entered battle. Oh, my voice. It's been so long. I thought they banned your ass. I'm stealing shit.
A violin. So the plan is to do nothing. Screw the lyre, I want the violin, bro. He foolish would be a bluey stan. Any help from Jahir? She wants the same thing we do to save the city. But she doesn't care if the grand jury lives or dies. I will be that. But her focus is on stopping the crisis. I suspect she's the first ever one to achieve that. She lies doing her best. She has no signs of waking. We can wait. But Boulder's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. Patience. We may know a way through the curse. I don't even know if he'll ever recover. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't want my precious boy. Rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Far from it. We need a way into the tower. <gasps> I intend to Cozy blue what I want shirt. That looks like such a cute color. I love that. I think a starian would look really good in that. You're so dumb. Yes! You're so the fit! That's the fit! Gosh, I love playing dress up in Boulder's Gate. It's so fun. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Mm -hmm. Did she just say? Did she just say what the fuck? Oh, don't wander far. Sorry, Jahira. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God. Carlac, sweetie. To your very good health. <laughs> you have to pardon my friend Carlac. She's very excited to meet you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's literally me I right mean, now with the QSMP. It's an honor, milady. <laughs> I will gladly drink to your health as well, Carlac. I'm going to smell the wine. said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Am I feeling a little chaotic today? I don't know. Ghost hunting. Oh, Nikki the ghost hunter. Okay. I will be right back again.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um. I was actually wondering if it would affect me. Poisons often struggle. Well, consider this an experiment then. Indulge me. Frick it. I know you disapprove. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. Uh. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? <gasps> oh. Cloud your thoughts with your madness. Weave a lie. I want to do it. I shouldn't have done it. You want to deny the parasite has any sort of hold on you, but somehow you can't. Jahira spots your confusion and her eyes narrow. Whoa. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? What happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. <laughs> if he's back, perhaps you should have hit him harder in the first place. Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Dude, they have the same expressions right now. I'm sorry I didn't over here have the same expressions. <laughs> it's rare people look at me and see hope. The light is rather dim. Out here in the Shadowlands, the point remains. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. No, the Once dragon! Once Kedrick is without his shield, the sword, Pobre. 
Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Catholic's days are numbered. I'll make sure of it. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Not the end. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. <laughs> How do we reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Good Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Go talk to everybody here. Nothing. Let the nice to see a friendly face come out the shadows for once. An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravenguard or losing him forever. I hope you'll help us. She doesn't care. You're heading into the towers, are you? Good. I pray it's not too late for Duke Ravenguard. Still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. Oh, his original writ Councilor Floric. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. We believe the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you've found a way in. Not yet. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Ooh. Lord Gortash. I thought he was no more than a counselor. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravenguard and I left for Elteril, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethrick throws at us. I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again. God's willing. You're gonna talk to her again. The journey back to Baldur's Gate won't be easier, but your task here is harder still. Timora be with you. That's the first time that I've ever done that. The only time I've ever come in this room was when uh, I had the talk, or when I did the art color quest. So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. 
I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. We'll make him answer for what he did to you as soon as we get to the city. Oh, the city. Baldur's Gate. Home. I can almost taste it, you know. Not even Gortash can spoil that. <laughs> Where's Shadowheart? Where's Shadowheart? Am I blind? Oh. <clears throat> I'm blind. <laughs> Is there... Soldier? You got your second upgrade. How does it feel? Like I got something back. Something I've wanted for a See, really like, long how, time. Like with the first upgrade, when her skin was still kind of like, like fiery, but now it's like person. constrained to her hair with the second racing. upgrade. It's such a tiny, minute you. detail, but I love it. I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore. I don't have to hold back. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. I'm very glad you got what you wanted. Me too, soldier. Gods, me too. For every knock we take, I feel like I get a little treat just to keep me going. What do you do with your newfound freedom? Touch! Touch everything! Touch everyone that'll let me. Shake hands, dance a waltz, maybe even kiss a face or two if I find a good candidate. The world's my funhouse. <laughs> <laughs> um What about what Damon said, about how your engine will survive in the material plane? Ugh, I don't want to think about that now. I figured. Misery always overstays its welcome, and joy leaves too soon. I'll cry later, but not now. Understandable. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Catholic Thorn, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. They put furries in Minecraft. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. Okay. I'm friends of the fist. We're gonna ignore the painting that's standing straight up. Oh wait, I wanna sell stuff to you, bud. In the market for something special? Let me see what you have. Sell that. Sell that. I don't know if I need to save that, but I don't wanna get rid of it, so. Canter of nearly endless water. 
I love the decanter of endless water. So cool. Sending shell. Evasive shoes. Ocean of flying, of combustion, or the bane. That is a really good, or not a really good, but that's a pretty good cloak for a star in. I don't know if I'm gonna get it just yet, but T Tarbell's guide to distractions. Pleasure doing business with you. Absolutely. Premium trinkets and doodars. Oh, this is where Ophira would be sitting if I wasn't a maniac. Come on, come on, boop. Work on! Bro's not talking. But I will, damn it. I don't know what he what he said. This place is awesome! There's so much stuff! He's so cute. I love Mercon. Cloud of daggers. I don't know if I need it. I'm afraid of Cloud of Daggers. After what happened to Telesa at one time. But... I'll add it to the pile of scrolls that I'll never use. One and a half meter circle of ice around the target. That's cool. Don't know what I'll ever use it for, but... The journal script is antiquated, but its pages look like they've barely aged. How much longer must it languish here? I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago, but that blasted toll housekeeper won't accept my papers. When Father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like they have something to hide. The shrines in the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hope to learn more about Cather Thorm, the village's leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. Come on. Crap. I don't think you can actually get to this point. Or maybe you can, because there's a chest there. I don't remember how to get there, though. I'll figure it out. I'm not gonna do it. I've learned my lesson. I'm no longer clicking on every barrel I see. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gosh. Good to see you're still breathing. It's the best we can hope for. He's a pretty boy. Classic pretty boy There's right there. another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. 
put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira <laughs> didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Want to talk about your sorrows instead of drowning them? I'd rather drown than talk to a sanctimonious prick like you. Damn! If what I do to you? If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. I heard about the attack in the Shadowlands. I'm here to help. Oh, sod off! I'm only here because you helped me and my family. At least you're still alive. I was ready to cut and run back at the grove, but you had other ideas. Uh... Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. Then it's my responsibility to bring them back. They're my responsibility. You go save the world, or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do, I'll fix this. Mm, I feel bad. No. It's always a pleasure to <laughs> see no, you. So no, no. Stop smooth talking me. The colors are faded, but the words are not. An ale between friends is worth ten cups of tea. Okay, there's just no comment for that one. Talk to the kitties. Oh, that was so cute. He's like jumping up to get to the counter. He didn't like it then, either. Oh, he's be such a, a sweet kid. If this is about Roland, go away! What? I'm sorry he was mean. He acts like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. Oh. But he did save you. That's what matters. And now... We're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. Maybe that's what he needs right now. I get it. You were trying to look after him. Yeah. He did save us after all. Anyway, it's his loss. What do you mean, his loss? I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. Aww. See, now here's the thing, because I've never actually gotten this dialogue before. Can I say, can I have it, and then give it to Roland? Or if I take it, can I not give it to him? Because I kind of want to give it to him. I like Roland. But also, I'm kind of, like, self-centered, so... <laughs> um... Can I have it? It's for Roland! I'll give it to him. But it's not deception, it's true! <laughs> See, now here's the- oh. I do want to give it to him, but I want to see what it is. Um... 
<laughs> I expect nothing less from her. My princess. My princess. Um, if you give it to me, I'll make sure he gets it. Okay. And I mean it. I will make sure he gets it. I want to give it to him. <laughs> Fine. He'll probably hate it anyway. Here. <laughs> Quack, and he's dying in a rhino. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye-bye. Bye. The way of the wanderer. Wait, why do I have this now? How to convey that which I know deep within myself to be true. Would that I could bring each of you reading these words into this head of mine, this heart of mine, feeling as one. Perhaps then I could speak what words fail to describe. That home isn't home unless you're far from home. That love isn't love unless it unleashes you. That the sky is infinitely big as long as you can always see it. Do I make sense? I think not. But perhaps the parapatetic? What is that word? Parapatetic patter of these words can create some rhythm approximating the joy of feet on road with not but everything ahead. So, yeah. Can I give it to him? I don't need your help and I don't need your pity. Oh, I can't give it to him. Boo! I feel bad now. Where are your siblings? Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower where the others were taken. If they're alive, I'll rescue them. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Okay. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. Fine. Um. Isabel's in her room upstairs. She'll be expecting you. Yes, ma'am. It's this Bring bitch. In trinkets and doodahs. Oh, Marcus. I want to talk to his majesty. Right back at you. Hiss. I say hiss. <laughs> Easy, kitty. I mean you no harm. And yet you harm me by your very presence. Dude. This is my territory, and you're in it. My intentions are pure. I only wanted to admire you up close. Mmm, I'll allow it. <laughs> I love that you get approval from a Starian for this. <laughs> Quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. You seem like someone who knows what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. Huh? She promised me a bit of milk. Oh. <laughs> do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I, disgraceful. Oh. Quietly admire You've the cat. enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Marcus. Ah, you found your way. Good. What are you doing here? I thought I'd scout ahead. Check for any nasty surprises, of which I found a great deal. I'm sure. Then what did you find? Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. 
There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate. Something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolverine and the others. Of course I am. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wolbrin. How did Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well... With you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talent. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Um. I like the name. What's it do? Let's not ruin the surprise. Hmm? You... You do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. <sighs> yes, yes, I'm well aware. Look, you're welcome and all, but, uh... I got to chat with bigger fish. Later. Oh, Raphael. It's good to see you again. I'd ask if you've made any progress with your little problem. But the telltale twitching of your eye is answer enough. I'm twitching because I'm talking to you, not because of the tadpole. You again. I'm sure your arrival is simply a coincidence. My dear, nothing is coincidence. Mortals trifle themselves with free will, as if their betters have not molded every potential path ahead. <laughs> no offense meant, of course. Wait, what did you I'm say sure about everyone me? Everyone in last light thinks they could have changed things. They're not the only ones ripe for temptation, mm. you know. My last contract here fed me for decades. You were here before. Why? Family troubles. Not my family, of course. I never surrender knowledge for free. But one good turn deserves another, does it not? To repay you for the soul sent my way, I offer a taste of the truth. Catherick Thorn, proud father, man of faith, utter fool. On the night the Harpers sealed him away, someone murdered his entire army in cold blood. Now who would possibly benefit from such a massacre? Better than you. If you want to know more, I could work the exchange of such precious knowledge into the terms of your future deal. But the time for quibbling over clauses and contracts hasn't quite arrived. You'll be limping back to me soon enough. Not with you, at least. Although, I sense there's something your friend wants to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? If you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. <laughs> it burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. Uh, my old... Uh, well, a long time ago, someone carved infernal ruins into my back. They are a fragment of a contract. I'd like to know what the full contract says. Hmm... This 
This is a bad idea, Starion. We should find another way. Oh, such impatience. It's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. Uh, you'll you get, get back, back to, to me. me. This, this is, is important. important. Don't. Um, when? when? Don't <laughs> worry, I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. If I remember correctly, he doesn't actually have anything to say about that, does he? Hello, beautiful. I don't know why he doesn't have anything to say about that. I want to chat with him. Look, you're welcome and all, but uh, I got to chat with bigger fish. Later. Oh, girly. Premium trinkets and doodars. Okay. Take it easy while you can. We'll keep the watch. I feel like this is like completely different from the other playthroughs that I've done here, which is weird because I did the same thing as with Telesa pretty much. The last light in does not permit the bearing of okay, arms. It's the same thing as For down the there. safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Please leave your weapons at the door. Premium trinkets and doodah. Oh, loot. Trolls report more activity among the cultists, mom. Oh, an outdoor bar. Wow, this end was cool. Oh, chest. Or, oh, that's just a trunk. It still says rescue the dru druid house, and I think that's glitched. Cause I'm pretty sure that's supposed to supposed to complete after the tiefling party. Reach the ancient temple. Find Raphael in the shadow curse lands. I saw that, Carlac. You're doing your little dancey dance. Oh my lord. Oh, that's all the flaming fist. I'm like, what the? Do, do, do. Crescent moon earring? 
What? Where does that go? Here? Bro, I can't put it on! Boo! No fun. This game sucks. Not worthy of game of the year. A bust of Catherick Thorne as he once was. A devotee of Saluna. Hmm. Finest stop. <gasps> I don't know who to give that to. Actually, what does it look like? Obviously, it's armor, so I can't really wear it, but... Ooh, they look good at that! Very cute. Isabel's diary. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will, no it will never out the stuff that reeks within me. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should never have come back. Oh. I've never actually just like looked through her room before. I think that's her door. Come on. A second, Isabel. I gotta loot some things first because I'm a loot goblin. As I listen. favorite gods and goddesses are Saluna and Lathander. Literally the sun and moon. <laughs> I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Worth to get around fast. I may have the parasite of a truth tool, but not the mind of one. Bully for us. We've been waiting, hoping against hope, for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists it's almost too good to be true 
But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. The so blessing cool. falls uneasily over your tainted body. You can't help but dream. To kill her would destroy all of last life. You yearn for it so deeply. Perfect. Wow. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. <laughs> Anything else just you know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. To walk a tranquil path, want for nothing. Keep your blessings. You have not known tranquility until you have felt the absolute's embrace. That I can promise you. The absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <sighs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. initiative order of starring and what should we call it uh LBR oh good lord all right um not the mirror 86 plus 34 out of 40 why does he have like 100 hp I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that's what I feared. Mm, that was a waste. Oh, hey, what's up? Let me just do that. And I can't bite you because you're a fiend. Nice. 
nice. Oh, this is a new theme. I don't remember ever hearing this. Oh, never mind. Let me just go ahead and do that. What is going on? Why does he have such... Oh, he's a... He's a barbarian. Oh, Isabel, Isabel, what are you doing? Girl, what are you doing? That was quite the turn, or quite the go. Just throwing the ice storm out, huh? What happened to Fizzer here? Oh, she's only got 15 health. Take him. And let's do. Bye bye. <laughs> I love banishment. Such a good spell, dude. Your penance will be paid now. Nice. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Oh, she's paralyzed. Oh, he's paralyzed. You have to create the thing with four HP, don't you? Oh, Sarah's. I don't know what to attack. There's nothing over here. She's saved? Wow. Bruh. If she was like, if she had like another 0.2 meters, she could have done it. No, her frenzy. Damn it. Maybe if she was like back here. That sucks. I'm so upset. Can I throw it at another one? There's literally like none. I mean, there's... He's banished right now, so there's no point even trying right now. Well, that's a rip. Look at his majesty, he's so unbothered. It's like, just another day. I don't know if she's not gonna make it very far. I guess that's melee, never mind. Take you Do that, I guess. Why are like all 
all the fists knocked out. Surely. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, not good. got two HP. Girly. Yeah, everybody's upstairs now. today. Why did the music just stop? <laughs> oh, now you put on your mage armor. Girlie, that should have been the first thing you did. Nice! There's a power site in that corpse. Brimming with potent magic. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> <laughs> she 
she looks beat Marcus to hell. Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kedrick will strike again. We need you to strike first. I don't get why. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate make it. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. Like, why did it switch to, to Shadowheart? I was literally playing as Zilvir. They were up. Everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why target you? Pull the right brick, and the whole tower goes tumbling down. Sir Luna gave me the power to protect this place, but I can't keep it up forever. Such magic. It's draining. Soon I'll be dry. Without me, Harper's flaming fist, everyone intent on stopping Ketherick is dead. But now that we have you, perhaps we have a chance. Once I take, once I take Catherick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy, for Catherick will have none on you. End this. No one cares. No one. Lord, the pile of winged horrors. Do the. Uh, I think. What am I to do? Oh, she does have. I have a lot on my mind. Give her the crit. But um, that banishment like came in clutch. But I think uh, she definitely would have died if uh. If he hadn't been banished. That's actually really good. Like, we didn't even really take any damage. Okay. Watch your back out there. If it's not the cult coming for you. It'll be the shadows. Mm. Go talk to the kiddos. I know, I know, but Mole would do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. They could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. You stay put. I'll bring Mole home. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at them. They're a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. Okay. Oh. Copper for your thoughts. Yes, darling. Don't you yes, darling me. Good work rooting out the traitor. I knew Marcus well. Never suspected a thing. Dude looks like a clown, sort of. Very well. The journey back to Baldur's Gate won't be- Ain't got nothing to say, hmm? Marcus was scum. But the rest of us are loyal to Duke Ravengard. Loyal to Baldur's Gate, I swear it. 
You better hope so. Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. You heard right. With a single word, Floric could charge the coast's most powerful force with taking back the Grand Duke. We ought to be doing just that, not babysitting this stump. And yet, orders are orders. Right. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Nathaniel and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We, we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it. Or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fowl. Yet it has not broken. Can he hear you? You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. What's wrong with him? A century locked inside a shower and curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who want to be seeing you. That song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met R anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. It's a parchment now. Looks official. What? Where? To the harpers outside last light. Actually, I don't think I've ever actually done this quest correctly, so I'm gonna look up what I need to do. You don't even... That's the most useless quest. Oh, he doesn't have any. I need to 
more than that. Assignee, art color, rank flame. Objective, to obtain, an, obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs cited by Catherick Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Orders, take Lodging and the Last Light in and begin investigation then. Local House of Healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. Note, the region's Thorm family are long-standing devotees of Saluna, but rumors indicate a Shar and Enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Signed, Grand Duke Elton. Tragedy. Worse than that. A crime. Okay. I've known Marcus for years. To think that he would turn on us. On me. You did well to defend Isabel. Hmm. To hear. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... We were all caught off guard. Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Okay. Talk to everybody out here. I broke bread with that flaming fist. Little shit. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, she's broken mouth girl from this act. I wish that they would fix that bug. Always knew Marcus was a snake. <laughs> he did well to knock the light out of him. Just about. The flaming fist may be a bit rough, but I've respected them. Didn't expect a traitor in their ranks. Um Hope you're the praying sort. Rose got some glorious eyeliner. They'll be back, and there'll be more of them. There always are. I knew there was something off about that fist. Glad you were here to take him down. Don't point at me like that. No one's getting past me. Not again. She's very pretty. Too dark to tell. I bet they're close. Quartermaster Tali. Sold a pair of boots to that traitor. Can't believe it. Um, anything I can take off your hands at no cost to myself? Nat 20, no. Nat 20, okay. Cheeky, but since you're asking. Oh, supply pack. Give that to Carlac. Oh, two? Okay. okay. See if there's anything you need. We don't know when the next blow might land. Um. Hmm? What's next, I wonder? Don't be shy. No I'm time of bark skin increasing your armor class to 16. Hmm. Money 
answer. Dude, you could do fireball with that stuff. And yet it still doesn't do more damage than cacophony. Defender Great Axe. Making me sweat. Nope. Mighty cloth. Game full strength. Increase your strength score by twenty to max or two maximum of twenty. Every push against your will and you have advantage on saving throws against like being restrained. I'm gonna be real. I love this robe that or this clothing that I have right now. I kinda don't want to switch it out. Ah, the cloak of protection. Buy that for Gale. Um, ooh, add your full dexterity modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor does not impose disadvantage on stealth ability checks. Gain a plus one bonus to initiative rolls. See the armor that she has. Oh, that's 15. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Ah, oh, the Wanti scale mail. That's 1500 gold. And actually, I don't know. Oh, and it doesn't impose disadvantage. And you get plus one to bonus to. Oh, Shadow Heart. Ooh, I like the way that looks. That'll look really cute once I dye it purple. You make an attack with your offhand weapon. You can add your ability modifier to the damage of the attack. Ooh. Um. What dies? Pale pink, pink and leaf green, green, black and furnace red. Black and jade green. I think I have both of the blacks already. Mushroom feel orange. Oh gosh. I had almost 5,000 gold before this. that I can sell. I'm trying to think. What is this 12? Yeah, okay, I have armor. Um, Lysel has heavy, Mentharo have heavy. Nobody in my party needs it. I'll sell it. Sell that. Okay. Take care now. Thank you.
I thought we were safe here. More fool me. We need to end this quickly, before the shadows break through again. You must know better than any of us. We've got to get into the towers. Now. You must know better than any- Oh, I can't talk to her about Jonas now. That sucks. are so cool looking I love the color of that armor wait yeah yeah, yeah. that looks a lot like Carlax armor now that I look at it I can't wait to dye it purple I hope I have enough purple I should have another one Hmm. There's a little baby crate. Look at it. It's tiny. It's so cute. everybody upstairs I'm like what is that Let's go ahead. 805, okay. You know, I was, when I first played this game, I was worried that I wouldn't have enough supplies for Act 2 because of the fact that everything's like cursed and stuff like that. But with Telesha, Telesa especially, I uh, was really scrambling to get enough supplies for the end of Act 3. Which I was really shocked about, and I think it's because I had so m I had stocked up so many supplies from Act Two. It's surprisingly easy to get that many supplies that I just stopped getting them when I got to Act Three, and then I just ran out because I do a lot of rests in Act Three. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind for. What's that? But uh, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind for for Ilvir. I don't want to run into that again. You guys are bad. <laughs> don't you have a Valorant character to build a Minecraft or something? <laughs> oh, I need Fullbit to play Valorant together. It'd be so funny. <laughs> you 
you would rather the enemy in the town of Fobo. <laughs> Oh, I've missed these two. Okay, um, uh, go talk to Bex down here, and then I think I'm good here. We can go do the Harper's mission, and we finally get some moon rise. I remember you, Bex, right? Where's your man? Gone. Oh. Cultists. Sore subject, got it. It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away. But my love... Dennis... Martin Dahl, Roshan. This is all different. This is like really interesting. Like I don't remember this conversation or this part. Of, I don't remember this conversation going like this before. Um. How did you manage to get away? I've always been good at running. Unlike Tanis. I didn't realize one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Oh. Dennis could still be alive. Don't give up on him yet. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. I'll do my best to find him, but I can't promise anything. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. I'll never forget your conversation in Act 1, where you guys were making plans for Baldur's Gate. I think with Ilfir was the- actually no. Mordell was the first person- or was the first time I heard them talking about that. But... Yeah. <gasps> we'll be you. This is what I mean. Like everything's either like, clothes that are really ugly and I don't want, or cloth, or rotten food. <laughs> This is what I was worried that the whole act was gonna be like. Oh no. No, the chocobos are real! Oh no. I'm not the, not the chocobos, not again. I got 3,300 gold. Remember back, back in the, 
the crush when I had 5,600 gold. <laughs> I miss those days. Like that. Damn, what? Oh, that's right. Nefudeno. What is this guy doing here? Just fall, frolics off into the field. Okay, Kukurucho. Put that in there for her. Okay. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. <laughs> All right, Bye. time to see what new Our horrors us. await us. <clears throat> I've never been up here before. <clears throat> Hello? Can't trust anyone anymore, and that includes you. I don't know who you are, but I like your design. You're very pretty. to tell I bet they're close watching us okay Now why? <laughs> why do I have to go way down here? That's so annoying. Stone or steel. <laughs> okay. Huh. Let's go do I this. You mean to reach Moonrise? And I have orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep even a torch cannot quell it. Yet the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. Let's take on that convoy. You lead, I follow. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Zigzag thing, you stop it. That's my thing. Now you're getting in my way. Okay, let me save. Supposed to go out there. Oh, okay. I guess we go out here. What's happening? Do I talk to these guys? 
Oh, well, there. <laughs> to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Your faith will stand ready, Majesty. Soon we will march. Soon the world will bow to you. Yeah, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Stay hidden. Stay in the light. They do not go into the dark. Didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward. No! They will not go into the dark. Enough! Stop! They will not become shadows. They will not feed the curse. Forgive me, my queen, but I had to. Before the dark got any stronger. Sleeping on the Harpers. Heretics in the dark. Tell them. Destroy the blasphemers. We're going for it, boys. Them into the dark. <laughs> of course he stupid sanctuary. Here, who do I want him to go for first? Spin a web fanatic deals an additional, you know what? Over him first. Take a little munch. No ghost. Running into the darkness, then. Little, little classic fire. from that's the one that oh good his let's see here I want to 
want to get rid of. Actually, I'm gonna leave Carnus for last. Get rid of everybody else first. Oh, good lord, that thing's so loud. When that hits, it just goes so hard. Oh my lord! Of course he hits Sanctuary. Mother trucker. That just makes... Considering his sanctuary right now. No! She's gonna lose her frenzy again! Gosh dang it! He's not sanctuary anymore. Um, okay, he's not hiding. Oh, critical miss. What? Looking though, I'm so sad that I missed. What is happening? What is this guy's armor class? 19. What? Of course, the flurry of blows is the thing that hits. <laughs> oh my lord, what is going on? Oh, 
so bad cruel sting a draw elf ooh a draw elf looting this weapon deals an additional one to four poison damage against restrained targets I'll send it to camp And gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Can, can, can you feel it? Light, hope. I've never forgotten how it felt. Goodbye, and good fortunes. And do return to last light should you need space to breathe. Oh. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh please, oh golly, me oh my. You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Your fuel for the lantern. How does that work? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Hmm. Quite clever. And cruel, of course. But creatively so. What's his mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. What kind of torture device is this? Takes my light to protect from the curse. <coughs> what will you give me for letting you go? Whatever you wish. with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Uh. I just want to see what it does. I think it'll kill her, but... As you catch the time. She had all flickers away. Would you be happy if you were freed from yourself? That is a crazy line. Give me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? What's on offer? Honey, I'll shake your world, that's for sure. 
Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the Shadow Curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. Curious little thing. <laughs> and she has such a way with words. <laughs> Kindred spirit. One of our scouts may me my how do you pronounce that? My licky? Which over her soul spotted the cultist caravan route from afar, a line of slow lights wavering through the gloom. The cult the cult has some persistent means of traversing even the most blighted regions of the Shadow Curse, and I mean for us to have it as well. Prepare to intercept and seize whatever it is they're using. Jahira at last late. Shit, it's full of cute it's see foolish's house. Level eight. Eighty-three. Didn't I have her maxed out? Why does she hate me so much now? How do I still only have fifty-three for, dude? Carlac has to have like. It's so. Out of all of the characters, why is it the hardest to get approval for her? <laughs> Like, I feel like she doesn't have any, any big moments where she gets, like, a shit ton of approval all at once. Which is so dumb, because she's the most appro- or the nicest and the most goody two-shoes out of all of the, the companions. So, you'd think that she would have a way to get, uh, high approval really quickly. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. You and I, man, look at us. May the darkness protect you. Dude, she is just allergic to having blood on her. She gets dirty. Hey, soldier. Everybody else gets covered in blood. <laughs> the story absolutely gets drenched in it. Instead of my- it's funny because it's only my dirges that get like absolutely just drenched in blood. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna argue against. That makes the most sense. Why can I not reach? What the- no traps, please. Bollocks is the point of it being in there then. If I can't get it.
You know what? I was thinking too. I think that the map in Act One is bigger than Act Two's map, and I don't even mean just like like with the Underdark and the Mountain Pass. I think just like the main area is bigger than Act Two. Maybe just slightly smaller. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's very big. I guess we'll see as I explore too, so that I actually start filling out the map. But... I mean... Oh no, I guess it is. It's... No, it's bigger, never mind. It doesn't- it just doesn't feel as big. I think it's because I'm thinking of friggin' Act 3. The map is huge for Act 3. I have no- I've- every single time that I've gotten Act 3, it's just been like... overstimulation simulator. So, I'm sure it's gonna happen again. I don't know... I don't know if I want to take a rest here and then go to Moonrise. Or if I should just go to Moonrise. Because I know I'm going to have some... Uh, I'm going to have a lot of cutscenes packed up. Which way? That's moon rays, right? Yeah. Wait, I have to go. Wait, hold on. I don't have to go this way. We can follow this way. And since I have the the pixie's blessing, it don't be an issue. And honestly, part of the reason that I like going the underdark route is because then you can help the harpers. With this fight, there was a battle here once, a large one. And uh, yeah, I've not been paying attention to any of the things that I've been reading so far, really. But um, I like that you can help the Harpers with the fight and kill Carnus right here, because um, with Alaris, I did not kill him. Fallen members of the Emerald. And uh, casualties in the war against Catherick Thorn years past. Let me tell you, the fight with Catherick with Carnus there sucked so damn bad. I'm like, and it doesn't help that again, Alaris was under leveled. So the fight was already hard as it was, and then I had Carnus over there with 160 HP on top of Catherick and his bullshit. That sucked. That's I think that's part of the reason I have a <laughs> I have a deep hatred for the the last fights in Act Two, and I know it's because I did them so underleveled as Alaris, and it's just traumatized me. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have the same same reaction once I get to Act Three and I go to fight the house house of grief, because uh, I had a breakdown last time I did that. <laughs> it was rough. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. I'm really hoping that it goes better with, uh, with Ilvir because Telesa was rough. Spent, I think, an hour 15 on that fight, and I switched over to balanced, and I was still losing time and time again, and I was losing my mind. So, I'm just really hoping for my sanity that it goes better. Um, a record of Catholic Thorne's speech to his troops before his victory over the Druids and Harpers. Take this, you there, take this from me. That is gold, friends. Let those who are coveters and cravens among you take my gold and go. That's enough to keep you warm in winter, but in those cold and lonely winters to come, you will look into the bot flames in the purchased hearth and see a bar bargain for peace, and then you'll realize that such a retirement comes at the price of pride. 
Go on and take it. Take it and go. Those who are not afraid, and me, we won't stop you. But nor shall we know a winter in which the coin of regret is idly spent. Instead, we shall know blood and fury and the triumph worthy of the flame re reconcilable only with heaven. I swear it. Against us arrayed is a group of fo fools. Let them be our band fault. Let, let us raid them, friends. Let us grow rich on screams. Okay, I'm not gonna click on every skeleton because I already know what it's gonna say. So, unless I can loot you, I'm not clicking on you. Gith Yankee. What? The hell is a gift doing here? Speaking of gift, I miss Lizelle. Like you need anything that was left behind. Ah, oh, the toll house. over. So, pack up your ears. You and the pup have a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil, and a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting him out. <laughs> if this devil is so powerful, how did they manage to get captured? Questions, questions! You're wasting my time! Let's see about getting your priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. You either mount a quick rescue, or you condemn Will to an eternity sizzling in the hells. Sounds like an easy choice to me. Zora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. We'll rescue your asset on one condition. You end Will's pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Hmm. Probably history, right? Yeah. 
you recall an old incantation from a children's story said to void a devil's contract? Abi Diabole et Nunquam Redi. Diaboli at Nukum Wordy. I've never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. <laughs> Bravo. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soulbearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, get to Moonrise, and do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. My apologies. Welcome back, true soul. What news? <laughs> Little from the, from the field. What news inside? General Ketherick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel was in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Well then, let's not keep her waiting. In her name. Praise the absolute. Crazy absolute. <laughs> Hello, there can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret Another of the absolute. Truth. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. We are each of us threads in her desire. Those we once called monsters. Oh, I don't know if Carlyx's gonna like this. I did as I was told! Followed every order I was given! The facts suggest otherwise! You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so! Take it up with Minthora! She's the one who... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpoles squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live.
keep silent and keep watching. You ain't serious. You can't be! General Thorne. Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't that so? What is your judgment? We did as we were told. We're loyal to the Absolute. Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the Goblins served our cause. Attack the half-orc and the general. That is the stupidest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> I saw the horrors they committed in the Absolute's name. Thank you! It's good to be appreciated. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending. And the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You freaking old bag of shit! That's a great throw on her part. send a clear message to the troops on the importance of discipline. Of course, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish.
want to do anything? They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I can't I remember. Care. I think you get Just a dirty specific thing for here. Here in the seat of the absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Yeah. Hey, you ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We're we'll, we'll waiting nothing but loyal. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I dream of blood pools but deep enough to bathe and run me a bath. No! Please! Oh, wow. Gets himself as you have. Ooh. He healed up a trait. He could enjoy your cuts forever and a day. The seat of the absolute power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. Execute the useless goblins. just like <laughs> I was just like man it's so hard to get to get Carlax approval up I wonder why and then I just like gutted the goblins <laughs> like gee I wonder why so this is the abode of our dear absolute it's about as cheerful as expected Are you Cazador's only spawn, or are there others like you? <laughs> Cazador? Sired several spawn. Me and my six brothers and it's sisters. sisters. He always insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to, to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. I hate that. I hate hearing that. But now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. <sighs> the hair is just not cool. is indeed the very center of the absolute schemes then the source of our problem must be in here somewhere Ooh. what do you make of Catholic Thorm now that we've seen him in the flesh he's trouble worse he's a traitor whatever loyalty he had towards Lady Shah is long gone it would please her greatly to see him meet his long overdue end I'll wager in the belly of the beast now. Try not to do anything too heroic. 
Don't you worry, baby girl. <laughs> I don't plan on it. Freaking my forearm. I don't know what the heck I was doing. My forearm hurts. Ooh, my like really bad hurts. got this, Russia. You're gonna be the bestest true soul there ever was. All you gotta do is trust Minthara, listen to the Absolute, and do as she says. Then you get your audience and you'll be proper rewarded. Don't go listening to them fakers like Dren. Dren does not hear shit. <laughs> I will say, I do really like Kethrick's intro. It's really cool to see him regenerate like that. Just run. General Thorne's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Realm? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. Enjoyable. Got any more minions to punish? Plenty. But I hoped someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith.
I think I'm gonna do the monk one. I know for Telesa I did the lust for Astarian thing. You feel her grasp within your thoughts for familiar roiling zealotry. It finds no purchase. Simply void. But why? Why would you not embrace her, worship her? I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. Okay. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Show me the power she gave you. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thor. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. I live to serve. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Understood. I'm ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. <laughs> Take one from Balthazar's chambers. Fudge. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Know that clientele. Oh, oh, that inspires him. I thought that gave me a approval. That's cool. Oh, I cannot see anything. I have no idea where that ring went. my dinner. It will be right back.
Okay. Um, let's go do. Let's go through Balthazar's room. That was not a smart thing to do. Well, I think maybe I shouldn't go touch the other book. But I'm tempted. See tomes. Cloud kill. Okay. Recipe of drow poison. Uh, this entry from the master alchemy Haskin Zesilophin begins with the formula for drow poison. Combine essence of swarming toads to with any salts, and lo, you'll have yourself a dose of drow poison as dark as the goddess Lil's temper. Time was I would grimace at the prospect of poison. Not that I think it's cowardly. I just think that what that was my legacy. The scaleless dragonborn who wrote some books that jilted scum used to poison their heartbreakers. My old friend Necros tried to convince me that such poison better equip adventurers for dangers of the road. What a crude happy go fuck re <laughs> happy go fuck reality attitude. Adventurers make up a sliver of the Sword Coast populace. Mostly it's folk trying to get by, and in this day and age that means poisoning your ex-lover, or some man who stole your prize goat, or some woman who called you a crabby little bitch behind your back. Well, I say go ahead. Use my work however you want. <laughs> That's funny. That's probably the most vulgar book that I've ever read in this game. Huh? Wait. Oh, okay. What is that? Do, do, do. Balthazar Personal Notes 3. Request from the next caravan. Any works by Mordenkainen. Must catch up on current events. No follow pattern. Century of ignorance. Him in vellum holds ink like no other. Could harvest from an acolyte. New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for library. Current volume badly scorched. healing arc that makes me so happy my boy deserves happiness yeah. 
either either he's actually healing and he's moving past his anger or something happened to him because he said he didn't feel anything which is interesting the Muglubiet Gambit Goblin troops, though crude and a bit dim, are valuable because they are adaptable and can be fitted into a number of different military roles, excelling as archery skirmishers and war cavalry scouts. If vigorously drilled, some can function as disciplined phalanxes armed with half pikes, and even the ones who can't be trained to march in step can serve as prime catapult fodder. The key to recruiting a tribe of goblins is their profound respect for their priests, who lead the tribe members in the worship of all conquering Muglubiet. Uh, where was I? Therefore, let the high priests of the seven tribes of the southwest sword coast be invited to a grand council, a feast where they will be well fed, well flattered, and well lubricated with jugs of plonk, laced with a mild paralytic. The priests will awaken with new guests in their crania and be led in a docile devotion to a new and greater god than Maclobia, the absolute. And trust me, where the priests go, their warriors will follow. Advisor Balthazar. This is the first time that I've actually just like looked through his room. This is kind of cool. <laughs> he? Oh. I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Oh. I wondered if that was going to show anything. <laughs> oh, there's a moon lantern. I want to get in this chest. Can't keep me out. Ah. Oh, I've got three inspiration right now. Oh yeah, I have two of uh a star and then one from Hildir. Ooh. When you poison a foe, heal yourself for 1d4 hit points. Do I have- Oh, I do! I'll give that to Lazel. Because she's got her- the- the Broodmother's, uh... The Broodmother's Revenge. Which automatically coats your weapon and poison once you heal. That'll be good. <laughs> this is a log on the work of one of Balthasar's necromancers, Cressa Bone Daughter, dated two day do dated two ten days ago. After this the state the fallen one was in. I never expected Cressa would be able to save it. I was hoping the usurped thing would die. That's what it would have wanted. It's not if Cre it's not as if Cressa studying it is going to prove much. It was damaged in the attack far beyond what the mere tadpole could do. But she seems fond of the foul creature. Let her play with it. Another entry seems to be written into this log dated a ten day later. I should not have been in hindsight, let Cressa keep her pet. Ever since it was shipped onto one of the Nautilus to be deployed, she has been inconsolable. It won't survive out there. It needs me. It isn't like the others. The feral thing will make a fine warrior for the Absolute, and now my best assistant is distract distracted thinking about it. Pa, she will come to heal again soon enough. What is she- what is that about? Is that about Flynn, maybe? The- the knoll that you find in Act 1 on the Risen Road? is formed from slate and engraved with githyanki writing the symbols are striking to look at but you aren't sure what they mean 
Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disk's message could be near impossible to discern. Investigation. Well... trade places with each other until a clear pattern forms and from that pattern a story emerges the prince of the comet part three oh. the histories tell us that commander Voss Gestil Kithrak pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon Ephelima Vlacket's faithful roar out this tale but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Blackett's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. It's an intriguing tale. And a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Lazel will surely want to know of this. Ooh! What a strange disc. Are these Githyanki markings? Lazel might know. That's so cool! I've never done that before! Wow, it, like, it's almost like this game praises you for... Um... For exploring! <laughs> Attention accolades. A reminder, accolades are permitted and treated my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting my lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. Yeah. Well, he absolutely appreciates your eagerness to learn. My bookshelves do not. Any requests to borrow from them must be given to me in advance and are likely to be refused. Should you devour information or poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word would could provide. Remember, the absolute purpose is better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. Though, if you choose death, I will ensure you serve her still. I mean, who's gonna yell at me? Oh, that's the... That's the thing that clicked. Got it. Makes sense. Okay, um... Let's go explore the rest of Moonrise. What? Boo. Can I move this? No. It's a real. Shah's blessings upon you. Who's sleeping? Where's the Chialta Hills? 
Recent dismemberment of Agent Ma's True Soul 26 by Lord Herod's guards of the Ring Forks stronghold is a clear indication that our strategy for co-opting the orcs of the Trail to Hills needs to be adjusted. Sending a herald to talk was regarded as evidence of weakness, so we must assume an attitude of dominance in our next attempt. A true soul among us who best understands orcish customs is undoubtedly Sir Yaks of, Sor of Scorn Nubal. He shall be sent backed up by a pair of ogres to deliver a direct personal challenge to Lord Herod, using as an excuse to dismember Metamos. He asks us to defeat Herod and then force him to swear fealty to the absolute, and in return we shall back Herod in the conquest and alliance of the other two trail to the tribes. tribes. Inform Sir Yax as soon as he returns to the Werewoods. Disciples are all on the behalf of, of General Kethek. So I'm willing to bet that where the bridge breaks off is where the orc tribes are. Dictated described Yonthus by General Catherick. Druids meddling and meddlesome. I have a history with them that makes me wary of un underestimating them. They will certainly not welcome the rise of the Absolute in their vicinity and could become significant obstacles if we don't find a way to make take them out of play. I speak here for starters of the Emerald Grove and of the Cloakwood Circle. They cannot easily be defeated without a significant diversion of resources, but they can perhaps be neutralized from within. Druids by their very nature do not smile, Yonthus, and value the by the very nature, do not smile, Yonthus. Value the present, the balance of natural forces over the welfare of humanity in general, and in the extreme, this is expressed by the faction historically known as the Shadow Druids, who favor complete separation of circles from what they regard as the ills of civilization. We shall identify the current leaders of the Shadow Druids, cultivate them with gifts while intimidating them with threats, and encourage them to see what, that the wisest and most prudent course for the most is for the and most prudent course is for the Druid Circles to stand neutral as the army of the Absolute marches on the blighted cities of the civilized. Disciple Zarel shall... Gosh. Disciple Zarel shall select an appropriate agent to parlay with the Shadow Druid leaders. Eventually all shall be infected with tadpoles. Oh. So... That means that eventually Kaga would have been tadpole because she would have kept working with the Shadow Druids, which their main goal was to get the- Oh. That's wild. I didn't know that. That's a cool little detail. I never just like explored around here. I should definitely explore more. an army for the absolute it is not particularly comfortable <laughs> is nobody gonna say anything oh gracious oh. one it is a pleasure to be in your mighty sight <laughs> let's go <laughs> i love you sorry and thank you for playing along
Kitty. Mm, I want to have a word. Yours is a face I shred in my dreams. Oh, one okay. who kicked the steel claw as if I were some stray. I am a champion hunter. When I lick my pelt, I taste blood. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. The, the 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 cat <laughs> well i did not think that was going to happen Ugh, i don't want that I was gonna try and talk to him, but I know that I couldn't say anything, so there's no point. What do you mean you can't reach? <laughs> Whatever, man. the ship that's cool man my freaking track record with animals in this game as a dirge is just horrendous I'm like I'm finally starting to turn it around I'm not killing any more pets I'm being nicer to them and then that happened what it is about act two but like dirge in act two is like crazy Ooh, can't be in here no thanks <laughs> i don't want to trigger that just yet Oh, nothing. Nothing is this way. Mm -hmm. Let that all fit in my pack. Oh, 
Oh, this is where Ro would be. I don't regret killing her. Brothers. Sister. Pray with me while we wait. Uh, I'm not worthy. I, I never learned the words. Yes, you did. She gives them to you fully formed. Can you hear her? I have many hearts. Oh. One soul. I have many thoughts. One mind. Huh? Who are these guys? I don't know what this scrying eye is doing in the corner right here, but it's fine. My foot fell asleep. Oh, ah, ah, foot, please, please wake up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's so bad. When we win, they'll be looping up a man. Um, I never learned the words. Yes. I guess go downstairs. Oh. What? Okay, that was odd. Just looking around. And not a single one came back down from the tower top. Must have been unworthy. It's impossible to keep a garment clean down here. You'll find it all the harder once we're off on the march. If you think we're going Looking around. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be making chocobo noises forever now. Thanks, QSMP. I now have a new vocal stem. That's a leg. Uh, not interested at the moment. I think so. I bloody hope 
not. If he saves us, I'll never hear the end of it. Okay, where is Minthara? Hold up. You're supposed to meet her at Moonrise. Are you kidding me? Excited, are you kidding me? Stone at the end, hollow behind the back wall, and beyond water. I'd bet my last copper there's a pier nearby. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That is the plan, Nichols. There's something in the evil here. Below. Down. Down. Ah! Unless this evil can get us out of here, I don't want to hear about it.
do it is if she's temporarily hostile which means you have to commit a crime in front of her instead of actually talking to her that's so fucking stupid i'm so pissed are you kidding me Shouldn't talk anywhere and telling her that you're not on her side make her temporarily hostile? It's only Bro, so where did she go? Till we're served up to the necromancer on a platter. Oh. Damn straight. Without me, everything will be for naught. The Iron Hand knows must succeed. I'm so annoyed. Man, I was so excited to have her at my party. <laughs> I was like, why I was so excited to attack too. I don't want to be here anymore, dude. That's so...
that's the thing is her body was gone so I thought it was I'm so fucking annoyed dude That's so dumb. Why did she have to be temporarily hostile? And also, why does dialogue not make her temporarily hostile? Like, tell me how that works. I have- and I have no way of going back. Not that I'm gonna go back. I have 30 hours after this. such a half-baked way. Like, that's so stupid. I'm just so annoyed right now. Yeah. 
fine. I guess I'll, I will talk to a Raj then, because that's the only thing that I'm really excited for. Actually. See, I don't know. Because I did a Raj with Telessa. But I kind of wanted to do the the Jurger confession so that it was different. But Jurger is so far away. Unless I start the gauntlet, kill Jurger, and then go and do everything else so that I get his confession. But I mean, the fact that you're right here. I don't know. I need serotonin. I'm upset. Blodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. interested in my pale friend <laughs> please you think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it I'm more than happy to make you one if you'd honor me with your blood with one drop I can brew a rather potent potion for you the rest I keep for myself And what exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. What kind of poster is this exactly? No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together. Mm 
Sounds interesting. Let's do it. Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits in a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your vampiric friend. The way he's looking at her. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? Hmm. Excuse me? He's his own person. I'm sure he really Ooh, believes Carla. that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name? Dude, the way he stares at her. A starian. But, but hold on. Good. Now, a starian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry. You want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Uh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? He said no. There's nothing more to discuss. How very disappointing. Elixir of half-elven healing? Oh, that sucks. Upon consumption, you and your surrounding allies are gaining hit points equal to your constitution score. So 14. Interesting. I guess we'll be on our way then. Can't wait to destroy everybody in Midrise. I'm so pissed. I was looking forward to a certain drought being here, but no, apparently that's too good to ask. I guess I can go sell half the shit in my camp stuff. I'm going to bed. I can get rid of that I can get rid of that I can get rid of that I can get rid of like I like half the stuff that I have in here I can get rid of because I was gonna give it to Minthara but I can't even do that I'm so pissed dude like, I don't even want to play right now because it's pissing me off so bad like it's such a dumb mechanic don't tell me that you can do this and then make it so overly complicated for no reason
what's the point of being able to knock her out if it doesn't matter? Uh, Will's got something to say. Doesn't a star and have anything? I swear, so help me. If a star is glitched out and I can't further his romance, I'm gonna jump out a window. I'm so serious. I'm at my limit. Greetings. Oh. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazal sees it too, and considers the vision. Tiersu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story. About... About Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazal's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Oh. I've already deciphered the disc. What do you think? This is more than a fable. It's an affront to the undying Queen Flacketh. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. So you say, but what if the story is true and this prince returns? Chuck, you speak like Kitrak Voss. You accuse Vlaketh of the unthinkable. As unthinkable as the greatest living knight turning on his queen. Which is true. Well, Enough conjecture. I'm done with the matter. Okay. Carlax just taking nappies. Copper for your thoughts. No, no thoughts. Head empty. Just anger. In my years as the blade, I've witnessed countless cruelties, faced unimaginable evil. But Thorn, he is made of pure hate. The Sword Coast will rejoice when the bastard's fallen. My father is somewhere in this tower. I won't leave him in Thorn's hands. And lest we forget, we've a devil to rescue. Two missions, one destination. Any idea where we'll find you, Graven Guard, now that we've preached Moonrise? <laughs> Not in a mere prison cell, certainly. My guess, Thorn will have confined him in the bowels of the tower. The deeper we dig, the closer we get. When Zara wants us to rescue a w from, devil from Moonrise, is this a common sort of request? It's a first. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. <laughs> It's not like you have a choice. Do the mission or rot in the hells. Not just rot. I'd have to fight. One of those mindless I love blobs this on clawing him. at demons on the front lines of the blood war.
That's horrifying. I'm so sorry. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. Darkness protect you. How can I help? Uh, I did miss that face, you know. So help me if I don't even get his his confession. I'm gonna lose it. I will be taking a swan dive. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. We're in the midst of the shadow curse now. Is there any more you can tell me about how to lift it? This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being, in the form of a young fey boy, with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But. If we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. What should I look for exactly? I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the shadow curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. Still feeling at home here with us. The surroundings are less bucolic, I admit. It's not easy, seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're welcome. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. Even more good still would be done if I would have been able to recruit Minthara. But you know. Can you have everything? No words needed, I understand how you feel. Yes. I think you do. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. I'm gonna be real, if I can't continue romancing and starring, I'm gonna kill Halston and Isabel. <laughs> if I can't be happy, no one can! Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. And so help me if that stupid butler shows up.
the hell is this? So you found the seat of the absolute power. I... And what a power it is. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. Catherick Thorm is clearly important. But I wonder if there's more to it than that. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. The orders are coming from. You're on the right track. It's in Moonrise Towers. But I don't know where exactly. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Why does the Absolute want you? I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. We're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. Tempt me, Guardian. <sighs> Sleeping in the dark. Oh, I'll take a long rest. Why do you not have anything to say to me, Dorian? Please. Hello, my sweet. Uh, please, just confess. I will go back to sleep. I don't even care. It's not like I don't have 750 freaking... I'm so tempted to do it. I'm so tempted. I don't even care if I'm doing it. <laughs> I think he's glitched. I'm gonna lose my mind. There's no way.
<laughs> I don't even have that. title this part suffering suffering and more suffering <laughs> that's all I've felt so far today Bro, this is my life's theme right now. I'm literally, I'm gonna like keep sleeping until I get this. And if I don't get it after three long rests, I'm gonna lose it. Thoughts are back on the twisted. Great, great. Now Splinter is here. I don't care. I just want a story to confess to me. You called for me, Master. No. The liar wish you wouldn't come back. Oh, my nauseating master. <laughs> Such rudeness is unbecoming of your august station. I come here for I wish to bring you another powerful tithe. But I cannot grant you this prize quite yet. You must do something divinely unspeakable first. I kill for myself, not because you command me. Oh, you are such a pleasure to serve. Of course you are killing for yourself. From coast to coast, our realm only exists for you to play with after all. You will receive a royal prize for killing this pretty girl. Isabel, the cleric with the sweetest face of the moon. She is too precious to live. I felt the desire to kill her so strongly when we met. Your unconscious clever mind hungers for extreme violence. Who knows who you might kill next if you do not satisfy your urge. Be true to yourself, master.
I did miss that face. Apparently not enough to freaking talk to me though. I'm gonna do it one more time. And if it doesn't trigger, then I'm gonna lose it. What the hell? Yes, Dom. I want you to talk to me! I, uh, oh, there you are! I want to thank you. It's about time. For what? For what you said. Whilst I was in front of that vile drow, I spent 200 years using my body to lure pretty things back for my master. What I wanted, how I felt about what I was doing, it never mattered. You could have asked me to do the same. To throw myself at her. What I wanted, be damned. But you didn't. And I'm grateful. I don't want you to do anything you don't want to. It's a novel concept, I admit. And, uh... A little intimidating. It would have been so easy to bite her. To just go along with what I was being told to do. A moment of disgust to force myself through, and then I could have carried on just like before. Just repressed it and moved on. <laughs> so <that's> healthy. <laughs> because yeah, because Ilvir's the the perfect picture of healthy. <laughs> Just repressed it and moved on. Sounds healthy. It's easy to judge a situation when you're not in it. The entire reason for my existence was to seduce anything with a pulse. And every instinct I have tells me that nothing's changed. I'm still just a means to an end. You made me see that I never stopped thinking like I was his slave. Even in freedom. But I'm more than that. More than a thing to be used. Hell yeah, you are. I care about you. Really? Open your mind so he sees you care. You... You're full of surprises, aren't you? Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> or what comes next. <laughs> yeah. But I know that this, this is nice. I was so worried that it was glitched. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yee. Actually, I like the opening your mind thing. You know, I've never actually hugged him. I've missed him twice now, and I've never hugged him. I think the other one I did, we don't have to. Uh, what Celeste I said, we don't have to sleep together. And then that one. Actually, I like the I like the sleep together thing too. It's very cute. Dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. Look at that here. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Fit him. 
scratch his tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. <laughs> Such a cutie patootie. A torch. Man, I gotta clear out my stupid chest because I can't give anything to Mithara. I'm gonna be salty about this for the rest of the damn game. I was like intentionally avoiding watching videos with Mithara too, because I'm like, oh, I'll get her soon enough, and then I'll be able to see what everybody. What, is, what all these clips are about? No. Actually, I won't. This game sucks. Makes me angry. Hey, soldier. Well met. I want this other chest gone too. Oh, I have to dye her stuff. The lady of sorrows guide us. Did you want something? No, love. I need to go get the dye. Go ahead. I'm listening. No. God, you're beautiful. Can we? <laughs> I suppose we can. Um. What are we to you? Uh, I don't know. But isn't it nice not to know? <sighs> uh, you're not a victim, not a target. Not just one night it's better to forget. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but then, whatever in the world could you be? Partner. Greetings. I already talked to her about that. Um, um purple ocean, light blue, orange, deep lilac. Ooh, actually, I wonder if the deep lilac would look better than just the purple. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Red or indigo. I'll try both. Dude, look at all this stuff. I'm so upset, man. All this shit that I'm just gonna have to sell because I can't give it to Minthara. I don't remember, I think. Um. What am I trying to say? I don't think druids are proficient in medium armor, because if they... 
if they were, then I would be tempted to leave that. Man, I'm so upset. I'm angry! At least I have a star again. Okay. That is ugly. I'm so sorry. What is that? Why is it all orange? <laughs> there! That's the look. Oh, that's so good. That's like her color scheme. Oh, I love that. Oh, that makes me happy. That, that's actually, and this armor is gonna be really good because she doesn't get disadvantage on stealth checks. So when we do the Gauntlet of Shar, I can go in there with, with her wearing this armor and it'll be easier for her. Yay! Oh. Uh. Uh, I should probably go talk to, uh, Halson. You wish to speak? Why does his dialogue keep resetting? There's a flaming fist at last light. The curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy called Daniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Dude, and, and the fact that it actually took three rests after Moonrise is wild. Also, I literally, like, you go specifically to Moonrise to, to trigger that scene. Why is it like, yeah, let's have the dream visitor sequence first. Like, what? I've had a hundred approval for Astarian since the end of Act 1. You would think that it would, it would, it would do that first. But no. And then it's like, oh, by the way, you're a dirge. Here's the scleritus scene. I'm like, bruh. I just want to talk to my my little my elf man. My 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 vampire elf man. I don't care about murder. Actually, I really I was really close. <laughs> if I hadn't gotten that cutscene just that I literally would have killed Isabel. <laughs> I told my friend, I'm like, if I, I was five seconds away from killing Isabel and going evil dirge route. <laughs> <laughs> I was losing it.
Okay. Um, what do I want to do? I mean, I could go... See, I wish... I wonder if... Now, with Telesa, um, I didn't get the scene until after I finished the Gauntlet of Shar. But I feel like it should trigger the the resist scene. Um, like, if you tell her that you're not gonna kill her, and then, like, wait a couple rests. Because I feel like, at that point, if you haven't killed her and you told her you weren't gonna kill her and it's been a while, that you're not gonna kill her and it sh the game should register it as such. It's the fact that you have to go the entire act with this is really annoying. Especially since you tell her, like, you can literally tell her, like, I've had these thoughts and they've, and they tell me that I need to kill you and blah, 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 and I'm not actually gonna kill you. I don't know. But then again, this thing doesn't, this game is very good about not doubling down with dialogue. So, it makes sense. Um, I don't know, I mean, I'm already here. Should I just go ahead and rescue the tieflings? Yeah, so I, that's always one of the last things that I do. Because I don't remember... Don't think that I... I don't aggro people at the... You know what? I need to go back into Moonrise anyway because I need to sell a bunch of shit. Oh, I love that armor on Shadowheart. It looks so good. Purple is definitely her color. Hello? Go up the stairs! Why can't I go? What the f- <laughs> This game is testing my patience today. Why can you not just walk up the stairs? Why do you have to do that? I'm gonna lose it, man. Well. Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me, and here you are. Karlak, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Karlak, who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Is she a threat? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half-devil. <clears throat> Impossible to read. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What could I say? The bitch had good jokes. Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins. Said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Hmm. We shouldn't take anything offered by a devil. Um, can't really say that considering, you know, Sarian's about to make a deal with the devil. Um, let's have the soul coins then. Sure. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. You want the coins or not? Mm.
No, we're not playing her little game. Oh. All right, suit yourself. Have a trade or whatever. Then let's get out of here. Damn, why is she so mad? She said Karlak might say that. And she said to let her have it her own way. You can take a look at the rest of my lot if you like. Got good weapons in search Bro, of Bro, why is she hating me for that? I figured she wouldn't want to hear about the suffering of others, but... Fine. See if I try to do anything nice. Carlac, you're damn lucky. I love you. <laughs> oh, I feel like I've not accomplished anything today. Actually, I can't say that I haven't because I... Actually, no, I haven't really accomplished anything today. I mean, I did the fight with Isabel, but that was it. <laughs> oh no, I did the- I did- okay, so the Harpers I've done that stuff with. Scratching tin. The dog wags his tail, a small bag clench he gives in, and surrenders his fart scratch his tongue low. Send that to camp. Why do I have these? Where did these come from? that Carla has. I'm gonna have so much stuff to sell. What did I- what color is the color? Indigo. Indigo is the color I did. Okay. Um... wonder where I find the other, uh, thingies. Once again, Shadowheart has less... Wait! Shadowheart's... 834, 824... 784, okay, girl. <laughs> and then Shadowheart with 944. Mm -mm. Orpheus, Gith... Tablet?
Bruh, it's in the Underdark. In the Arcane Tower. I can't be asked. <laughs> can't be bothered. Don't care that much. I love when this game just doesn't um just doesn't load. What is the what is the deal? She gives them to you Well didn't think to quiz her about her business. She would the fact that she knows where I maybe. Enough soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Sure. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trap. Mm -hmm. Memorize the... Didn't you want the coins or not? Fine, get on with it then. First coin's got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born Bro. to a cruel mother. She doesn't even give me approval for this. And three evil brothers all I hate this her. game. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. That's a sad story. No. We'll put that coin to better use than Tiamat would have. <laughs> sure you will. No, we really won't. It's going to sit in Listen, my camp chest forever and ever. Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. <laughs> it's absolutely vile. Unsurprising to Zariel, but vile and same. Karlak's the one said to consume his soul, I hear. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. So that shit, don't want it.
I think I actually I wouldn't say I ended up running that with Telesa. I don't remember though. I'm pretty sure I did. Reappear plus two. I might buy that for um for Will. Nineteen AC, holy shit. Why does this man not have any healing potions? No, this would go for Lazil. Plus one to spell save DC. You gain plus one bonus to initiative rolls. Slicing short sword. And the wielder deals. Revenge attack like bleeding. Ooh, actually, this axe is gonna be really good for this act. Because it deals damage, extra fire damage to plants. Plus one bonus to initiative rolls. An advantage on perception ability checks. When you make an attack roll as a reaction, you make it with advantage. I might buy that. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. Because it's 2300 gold. I'll just wait until the end of the act and steal it from his dead body. Big boy's chew toy. Who is a large fellow? Grow in size to become stronger. <laughs> you gain advantage on ability checks and saving throws using strength and weapon attacks. Deal an additional 1d4 damage. <laughs> That's so funny. If I did better damage, I would be tempted to buy it. The stupid war horn. Oh, um, you know what? Better hope you can handle what I've got. <clears throat> Where do you? And the dreams came. My brothers have the dreams too. Why? Why can I not walk through here this game? I'm losing it, man. And now I'm stuck. Oh my lord, I hate it here. Get me out of here. Or 
Okay. Let's do this. Damn, why is the music so loud? These coins can power in for me, chips. Infernal fury. The hatred and pain of a captured soul feel Carlac's infernal machine. Her weapon and unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four fire damage when she's raging or when her hit points drop below 25%. Okay. Where's that horn? <laughs> I can't have anything in this game, bro. I hate it here. Hold on. Come here, everybody. Come over here. Astarian, please do the honors. I want a gun! All right. What now? Cause you're beautiful. Can we? <laughs> I suppose we can. Can have kiss, please. <laughs> there is nothing I'd like more. That is a kiss animation right there. <sighs> Delicious. Okay. Well, I'm a little happier now. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorne. <laughs> north, North Rythwen, East Rythwen Toll House, South Moonrise Towers, West the Waning Moon. Anything of use? Fallen druids of the Emerald Enclave. They died trying to stop Catherine Thorne. And clear. I want to go kill things. trying to stop Catherine Thorne long ago. I haven't saved in a while. I should probably save. If I have to go back, I might cry, so. Been through it enough. That's the least I need to, or that's the least thing I need to worry about. <laughs> We're gonna ignore the three camp auto saves. Oh, wait. <laughs> I should probably go to last light. I told house and that I'd meet in there. <laughs> That's quite the screenshot right there. <laughs> this is such a pain. I hate having to scroll way down there. There's the harpers. Did I talk to you? 
I'd rather face Ketherick's armies than suffer traitors. Watch out for those flaming fists. Can the people, or can the, this... Can this game please load? Thank you. Where the hell is Halson? Where? Where? <laughs> what is the point? What is the reason? What have I done to deserve this? Please, if you have any idea how to get through to him. I'm gonna start my I'm gonna go on my insanity arc see me crawl on the ground like a like the ring creature or the ring girl the patient is physically well but psychologically detached dissociated from himself he's been in the shadow fell all memories will have been stripped away we need to remind him who he is some Personal effects, maybe? Hmm. Investigation. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin. Is it from manual labor? Or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. Flame color, do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. Okay. Where is Halson? <sighs> I can't have nothing in this damn game. <laughs> You're gonna tell Isabel I'm gonna kill her. Go on my villain arc. Hi, Isabel. This is the one Scalaritas sent you to kill. Every scrap of your marrow yearns to end her. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow cursed harpers. <laughs> I should not be doing this in my state of mind. I want chaos. I saw Catherick in Moonrise Towers. He was presiding over a trial. Almost laughable. That he sees himself fit to judge anyone. Did Dude, you learn she looks about how we might defeat him. Not yet, but I think I'm on the right track. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Well <done. laughs> he stabs her. I'm glad you made progress. <laughs> Protecting this in. Well, it takes it out of you. I'll hold out as long as I can. By the sound of things, we'll have a more permanent solution soon. So glad you're on our side. I still have a few questions. Go on, then.
Mm. Don't let Jahira catch you, dawdling. There is something about her. It would be wonderful to kill her. A perfect tragedy. My blood. It's telling me to kill you. And yet, you hesitate. She doesn't believe you will do it. You can see she wants to believe there is mercy in all, even in the worst. You aren't the first to threaten me. But I know the eyes of a killer when I see them. You mean me no harm, do you? An experienced cleric can tell such things. The urge within does not want to talk. The restless urge starts to scream. Oh. What does, oh, what does three mean? Retreat into your mind, fester the in the urges. You even began to think of it, it was already over. Moon Maiden, have mercy on this poor soul. Dude, why? Wait, hold up! Why is Garlack first in the initiative? This is Elvir's kill. <laughs> Although to be to be clear, they're not actually killing. I just want to do this because I need an outlet. <laughs> I think you can <laughs> I don't see how she unless some cultists sneaked in. The gods will be overrun. Isabel is gone. Soon the shadows will wash us all away. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, your mission does not change. You must find Catherick Thorne. And you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark, something stirs. happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. 
they're no longer who they were. Steal your hearts and steady your hands to battle. Well, just wanted to just wanted to do that for a second. I've never actually gotten that, um, that cutscene. I've, I've never had to worry about Isabel getting taken. Hesitate. She doesn't believe you will do it. You can see she wants to believe there is mercy in all, even in the worst. You aren't the first to threaten me. But I know the eyes of a killer when I see them. You mean me no harm, do you? An experienced cleric can tell such things. The urge within does not want to talk. The restless urge starts to scream. As suddenly as it started, you have tamed the urge. It slumbers again. There we are. The real you. Your affliction, is it? Doesn't rule you, does it? I'm not going to follow my order. You will live. Let things begin again. As long as you keep the peace in last light. I still have a few questions. Go on, then. This curse seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Kothric. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. How did you come to this place? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights, at any cost. Um, I'm not overly familiar with Saluna and Shar. Could you enlighten me? Moon and shadow, light and dark. Divine sisters ever at war, and this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. I don't know much about you, kid or fill in the blanks. I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Okay. Um, don't let Jahira catch you, dawdling. I have news about Catherick. I've been tasked with retrieving something important to him. Seems like a good lead. That's incredible news. I won't ask for the specifics as to how you uncovered that. But I'm grateful you've done whatever it takes. I can't believe there's an end in sight. Thank you. I still have a few questions. Go on, then. Um... All right. Cass, you're beautiful. <laughs> Shah's blessings upon you. Soldier. 
So you had a friend in Avernus. You never said. You saw the extent of Flo's friendship. She'll lend you a hand, long as she can crush your spirit while she's at it. I knew never to let my guard down around her. But she always made me laugh, even when I least wanted to. If she'd been completely different from who she was, we might have been real friends. Um... <clears throat> you do have real friends now. Me, for one. Thank the gods. And I do. Every day. Aww. Um... Wait. Did I sell it? Oh, no, there it is. Team it may concern. Frog got his head stuck in a butter barrel, and when his little imp thing tried to help him, they both fell off a ledge into a volcano. It left so hard Zariel sent me out of the room. Other than that, we haven't missed much, though I'm sure as I'm sure as hell missed you, Hexo Flow. Copper for your thoughts. Okay. Um Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now, or live a thousand years in the hells, <clears throat> I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Oh. See, this is such a hard predicament because Ilvira loves her their companions so much, but like at the end of the day, they really believe in like autonomy and making your own choices. So even though they really want her to live, it's her choice. Like she doesn't want to go back to Avernus, which is really fair. So. She, they wouldn't push it. I respect your decision. <sighs> Thanks, soldier. Your support means I've got one less thing to worry about. <laughs> that means a lot to me. You really are the best of the best. Of the best. Aww. If only you had seen me in a previous life. <laughs> Actually, no, in a different timeline. In a different timeline, I killed Isabel and doomed the entirety of Last Light. <laughs> but I am the best of the best, you're right. <laughs> you know what I think we need? Hold on. Come back here, guys. Let's have you... You sit here. A long way to go still. You sit here. Oh, that's cute. I've never heard that before. Looking ahead. And then I go here. And then
No way. Is everybody from Last Light coming in to listen to this? swaying oh this is so cute <laughs> thank you thank you so glad you could all come out tonight I almost killed your cleric <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't think that everybody. Oh, look at Carla. Like she's dancing. <laughs> she loved it so much. She decided to go dancing. Um, I did not expect the entirety of the end to uh, come and listen to it. Why is Halson not here? Why does this man hate me? Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going, dude. I'm gonna go talk- I'm gonna go see if Diamon has anything. Nowhere safe from this damned absolute. If you need something sharp, I have a few things left. Earlier you mentioned you could work interesting materials. What did you mean? I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. I forgot that he can make, um, infernal, um, he can make the infernal iron armor, which is really good, but it sucks because it gets outclassed so fast. Like, I got it, or I had the whole armor set for Telesa, and then I think by the time I got it, I was, like, ready to do the last fight, so... It was um, outdone by Catherick's armor, like almost immediately. But <clears throat> it is very good armor.
I'll be here if you need anything else. Thank you, damn it. I love you. Okay, well, since Halson's not here, where is. Where's Shadowheart? Hello? Shadowheart, what the hell? Seems someone's been skipping our supplies. Is anyone keeping an eye on those children from Elder Elf? Maybe not. Are you kidding me? Get out here. Thank you. There. Well, what do I do first? So just about do. Just about? Just about. I guess go, go explore. was my hunting ground. I might be responsible for some of these. That is a crazy thing to say. When I got that as Talissa, I'm like, oh, well, that just cements the fact that uh, they were lunatics before this. my lesson I actually stopped to read what the barrel said before I clicked on it. take a load off after the hard day I've had, you know? It's really hard resisting these urges. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to get over there. Oh, no, that's the, that's the camp. Never mind. I'm thinking... Well, I go over here, do that. And then I think I just like strike it out into the into the shadow curse lands and see what happens. Mm 
Now what in the hell? What in the hells? This game, I swear. It's fine, I'll just go through the mountain to get up it. Stupid thing. Um, I'm thinking... I actually don't remember what I get from this house. Up ahead, the shadow curse hangs thick, its dark tendrils curling and snuffing out all light and life. Even those of the oil, oil, smil, bleh, oil smeared torches are not safe. Turn back now. I'm not worried about that. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? Ooh, Rory's Vulcan potion. Honey, I am home! Wow, you, uh, redecorated the place. Very interesting design. Watch your back. No time to rest. <laughs> oh, I could go for a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> they have the the designated uh the designated middleman okay that's not doing anything except for burning that tapestry hymns for the gone Book of Prayers to Kellenborg, Judge of the Dead. Someone has annotated it with the following. These are a little saccharine in places, but one or two have genuine merit as something more than religious doggerel. Something that actually evokes the complicated feelings of loss and hope for the departed, their well-being, their eternal preservation, and some paradise. once engraved on the inside this is what I mean so this is one of the the lovers there is another one at the roof of the house of healing um, there's of course the the ward warding bond rings those lovers and then I think there was another side somewhere too I'm like why does act two place such a high I mean like it's it's realistic all these lovers they realize that they're gonna die so they're like gotta be together in our last moments but like there's so many instances of it and it's it's, it's crazy and it's funny because a lot of them I didn't even know that they were there until I played Telesa Like, I didn't know about the ones in the House of Hope. I didn't know about these guys, I don't think. And then, of course, I didn't find the second, uh, warning bond ring. Yeah, that says it's worth a thousand gold. I would be lucky to get 400 when I go to sell it. Because this game sucks. <clears throat> 
Actually, I want to go over here to the tieflings. Because I didn't get to actually properly. More tieflings. And then Rochelle. Steph. Toron! Oh, I'm called Donnie. Ikaron, Asherak. Amek? I don't remember Amek. This was like crazy to stumble upon as a Lyris because, um, <laughs> not good that's gonna do me now, but, um, as a Lyris, I went the mountain pass route, so I didn't see these guys until I was exploring, and I was heading to, headed towards the last light, because that was, just, like, the last place I went, and, of course, I didn't really know any of, or, like, any of the tiefling refugees, so I'm like, oh, this is unsettling. And then they got the investigation check and stuff like that. And then of course I didn't find out that it was the tiefling refugees until I got to the last light. But this was a scene to stumble upon. I was like, holy shit, this just sets, sets uh, the tone for this act. But it was a little sadder for Telesa because I, of course I didn't know with Alyris, so it was like no big deal. Or not as big of a deal. But Telesa, I knew them, so it was like, oh, I recognize this character. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it, was, it was sad. A little cursed for my taste. Oh. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's because she wasn't here for this fight, it was Lizzo. What the? I swear. <laughs> Actually, I like, um, also, I really like doing the the Harper's um, fight with Karnas because I like being able to free the pixie. It's nice not having to worry about the moon lantern, so just being able to run around, which is, I think, part of the reason why I really hated Act 2 at the beginning, too, because I had to have the moon lantern equipped for Illyris because I didn't do the Harper fight and release the pixie. So it was really annoying because granted that they're, they're a sorcerer, so it's not as big of a deal that she doesn't have a weapon, but it's just a pain in the ass to have that at all times. And it really made this act really annoying to play and it kind of hindered it. So I think that's kind of why I don't like it. And plus this act is so short. Like, if you don't do all the exploring, this act is done so fast. And, uh, it's kind of, it just like, it really cuts the flow of the game, I think. Like, this act is very important, obviously, because it ties into what happens once you actually get to Baldur's Gate, but it just felt very out of place at first. So I'm like, I don't really want to be here. I want to get through here so I can finally get to Baldur's Gate. And then of course the annoying shadow mechanics and stuff like that didn't help it. So I was just like all around not having a great time at this act the first time around. There's just the grave is a mess. Probably an animal's doing. Oh. But But 
but yeah, um, <clears throat> I think Telesa really kind of like not really revived my interest in this act, but made it more bearable. So I am glad that I got to play Telesa because she did make it a little funner. I will say though, the best part of this act is the Gauntlet of Shar and just everything in the the Shar Temple. Except for the, dude, the, the Baldazar fight? I don't know what was happening, but I struggled so much with the Baldazar fight as Telesa. And I'm like, why? I am a paladin. I should be like decimating these guys. But I struggled so bad. I had to go into easy because I couldn't beat it. I'm like, what is happening? So I'm really hoping and praying that once I get, get there with Ilvir, it's not that bad because I might lose it. Actually, I don't know how I did so well with, uh, with Alyris. It was kind of weird. Like, they, their fight wasn't actually that bad. Oh, dead Harper, what? What is this? Oh, he's a gold dwarf. I was about to say, I'm like, that looks like a Dwergar. We were running around trying to find the borders of that blight. The east, the ruins east of Last Light proved to be highly dangerous with deep biting shadows. Another suspicious one is that house on the hillock a few further, a little further on. It seems dark and empty, but voices come from there. One of the others swears to me that he heard a child's laughter and saw a Yankee warriors approach the house from a distance. Surely his imagination must be getting the better of him out there. <gasps> Shadowheart! May the darkness protect you. Remember when you told me night orchids were your favorite flowers? Rings a bell? Why? It just so happens I have one right here. Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking! They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. It's just a token. I don't expect anything in return. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later. All the same. Oh, Oh! Sorry. Was lost in thought. Something the matter? You first. What's on your mind? I don't fully know. Just a nagging feeling. Huh? Almost like I'm conflicted about something, but I don't quite know what. It, it's nothing. Forget it. Too much time in my own head. What? What's up with that? Is her gift bag. <laughs> it's so pretty. I have never gotten that little uh, little thingy there. What's up with that? Eighty-nine. Sixty-three. <laughs> and then there's a star right over here with a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping that um, I'm able to 
um, max out Carlac. Because I don't think I've ever actually maxed her out. And then that way I'll have maxed out um, Astarian, Shadowheart, Carlac, Lazel, and then Gale. Because I, cause I think I've got like 60 approval for him. So it'll be pretty easy to max out him. At least I'm hoping I'd have to run around with him in Act 3. Which won't be bad. But... Especially since I have to do his quest in Act 3. But... I'm really hoping that I'm able to max out pretty much everybody. Because I think... I'm trying to think. I think... Will, as long as I do his quest, I'm able to get, if not max, almost max. So, I'm, uh, yeah, this, is, this might actually be the first playthrough that I actually max all of, uh, all of my companions out, approval-wise. What the... What the... And that, um... Uh, that is really exciting for me. Because, like, Telesa was good, but... Um... There was definitely the moments where I didn't... Or I didn't, you know... Actually max people out and stuff. You're way ahead of me, Shadowheart. Obviously, I could go talk to, um, he who was, or whatever his name is. Yeah, he who was. Which is a Shatter Kai! When I saw him as a lyricist, I'm like, it's a Shatter Kai! I love Shatter Kai! Because, um, good old dice camera action. That was, that show had Shatter Kai in it for my favorite season, and it has forever changed me. I love them so much, and they're so cool in lore, because they have to do with the Shadowfell. I love the Shadowfell. So I was like, ooh, that's neat. Yeah, I was like really thrilled to see, because he's the only Shatter Kai in this whole game. I'm like, oh, interesting. Something over there. Oh, that's probably for the chest that I just, you know, unlocked up there. Looks like an ambush. I see. Okay, Starian. Just start up start us off, I suppose. Sounds like fun. That was a crit. That doesn't seem very crit like to me. Look at all the... 
Disadvantage from equipment. What? Oh. I keep forgetting that she can't wear heavy armor. And I just sold the dang helmet that she has. ribbed is like bruised or something kind of hurts hmm ow man shouldn't mess with it now it hurts even more necrotic resistance No, mine too, Carlac. <laughs> Wait, what inspiration? Who just got inspiration? Cool. Oh, combat conquer three combat encounters in the Shadow Curse Lands. That's cool. Starian, what are you doing, my love? <laughs> oh, you precious, precious boy. Dude, I need to... Next time that... Um, we can get feats, I need to get Shadowheart's constitution up because she has 45 health, whereas everybody else has at least 50. And uh, she's our healer, so we kind of need somebody that has some good, uh, has some good, some good health, so she doesn't go down immediately. Because that's gonna be real bad in Act Act Three when we get into some of the stupidly impossible fights. I even I made a speaking of Act Three fights. I made a tweet about it when I was playing Act Three. I think it was that's Telesa. But I'm like, I love Act 3 so much. It's my like my favorite act in the game. But damn if it doesn't have some of the most irritating fights. I think that was and I think I tweeted that out. Um 
because of what was it? Oh, it was the the ball trials thing. I was trying to get to the temple of ball and I had to do the stupid trials and I'm like this is What's that? I'm like this is so incredibly stupid and specific because it took me like four tries to do it. And I basically had to cheat it. It was so stupid. And I fear for what's gonna happen when I have to do it as Ilbeer. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of <laughs> another reason I'm really tempted to start Alaris over is because they uh, she romanced Shadowheart, and uh, she didn't give Shadowheart the idol of Shar or the Night Orchid, and I think it would be really cute if they were romancing her and gave her that. So. So add it to the list as to why I need to restart Where her. Lies your guilt? <laughs> the waning moon. Playing with the dead, are we? How charming. Indeed. One whose secrets are not for your ears. Be on your way. A fair point. Perhaps this one could assist. I us. love he who was was his design. The murdered lie silent. The raven asks, "Will you be their voice?" <laughs> this is one of the monk line. Death often comes for a reason. I've killed before. Does that make me a murderer? Depends. Did those you kill trust you? Care for you? Mm, some this of them. This woman <laughs> tended a bar where she took her patrons, her friends, into her confidence. Promised their secrets were safe with her. Yet she turned their words into knives and stabbed them in the back. They died because of her, and to this day, her victims lie unavenged. She's dead. How much more can she pay? Death is not the end. Merely another beginning. So true. I seek a record of this one's crimes, written in her own hand. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for her crimes. <laughs> kill the dead, kill the killed dead, kill the Kill the kill dead again and again. <clears throat> I want to see what he says when he says this. Oh, possibilities. This blessed loon may murder the same soul as many times as he wishes. Oh. No. I seek only justice, not murderous deviancy. I offer you a chance to avenge this murderer's victims. Will you take it? I will. What must I do? I thank you. As to those who died by her words. Go to the distillery, the one she calls the Waning Moon. Find the ledger and bring it to me. Oh, it didn't give me the quest? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, no. There it is. Aww, we get to shadow heart and our dark her favorite flower. She is greatly appreciative of the gesture. Aww, that's so cute. Bruh, why is this still here? If Halston is glitched because that quest is still there, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, I've already been here. Something that I hate about Act 2 also is that there's so many places to wander and like no waypoints. So you're basically like going in circles to get to new places all the time. And it's kind of annoying. Orchid. So pretty. Come on. Come on. See, I'm so curious about that, uh, that little chatter thing after I gave her the night orchid, because I've never gotten that before, so I don't know what that means. Is it her, like, um, what am I trying to say? Is that her, like, fighting against Char subconsciously? Or is it, like, not that deep? Because I don't know. I'm so curious now. Piggy. The animal never had a chance. The curse consumes everything it touches. Astarian! Remember the other boar that we met on our travels? The one that you drank and then refused to talk about because you hadn't told us that you're a vampire? Because I do. God's damned genius. This curses people legging it. A couple of idiots begged me to run back and grab their stuff at the ring. The ring is my ticket to the city. The old man was desperate. You should have heard the sob story. Ellie Mae was his wife. Love of his life. Blah blah. He used to camp by her grave. Kind of weird if you ask me. Anyway, she was buried with his family ring. It's deeper than it's deeper into the darkness. I'll grab it and be on my way to you. Baldur's Gate better prepare itself, because with the two of us in the city, we'll ring every last copper out of the place. Love you, Dandelion. See you soon. I read that name on a tombstone. You sure did. I wonder if we go back now, if we'll be able to find it. This is so cool. Like, this is why I love this game, though. Because you can, uh... Like, you can play this so many times and keep finding new stuff. So, you're like, doing something completely different from your other playthroughs. Footprints. Where do they lead? 
Aha. No way. What? Something's buried in the dirt. What? Is that a femur? Carlac, you're like on fire right now. You should be like. Wow, this is so cool. I've never found this part. This is so cool. This is what I mean. Everything's different. But Shadowheart, your car is literally on fire. She should provide some sort of light. Oh, that's a uh, uh, marker. Okay, go up that way. I will say, I do love just wandering around in Act 2. It's very fun. Because it's very, like, desolate. It's kind of neat. It's very. It's also very horror vibes, which I love horror, so... Oh. This way. So it's, like, really fun. It's like playing a horror game. And I love it. The Colossus. Okay, if that's a Carlac. <laughs> also, another thing I will say, another thing that I really like about this act is that, um, Pretty much because everyone's pretty much dead that the the most of the stuff is the storytelling for this act is done through the world like it's really it's really neat to just like explore everywhere and find out what happened by a, in the place like in the events of when the shadow curse first fell and stuff like that through journals and uh, in notes and stuff like that. It's really neat. And I like that because I am a big sucker for like mundane world building type stuff in video games, especially in this game because it's D&D &D and it's in the world of Faerun, which I love Faerun and I know quite a bit about. So it's really cool. I like it. A handwritten journal abandoned for some 50 years is it details a druid's attempt to learn more about the shadow curse. The ent entries grow shorter and more sporadic as time passes. Made good progress through the mountains. Seeing the curse for the first time filled me with an awe and fear that was difficult to describe. No writing could have prepared me, nor in any artist's rendition. As grave as the archdruid house and his warnings were, they were still lacking compared to the reality. I shall make camp soon and press on in the morning, though in truth such terms have little meaning in this place. A dreadful night. The campfire needed thrice the wood that would normally be needed in order to keep it burning. Terrible sounds came to my ears from beyond the firelight. Rest has not restored me. If anything, I feel weaker. M but I must persevere. I must trust in Sylvanas. I must, must venture deeper. Creatures from the darkness. Foul things. One grazed me. Only my torch saved me. Deep darkness. Flames are instantly doused. The wound stings. Flesh is turning black with corruption. The shadows are growing stronger. They are spreading. 
I need to return to light. The wood, the wood would not burn. I can barely see the page. I am surrounded. Research on the nature of the shadow curse. Good to know. <laughs> see, like that's such a neat little thing to find. Like finding that they were up here and they were researching the shadow curse. It's so cool. I don't know. I don't think it goes anywhere. everything Okay, yeah, this map is definitely bigger than Act 1. Never mind. It might be a combination of the three maps, size-wise. <laughs> and then you get to Act 3, and then, like, Worms Crossing is the size of this map. And then you get to the lower city, and you're like, what do I do? There's so many people everywhere. The map's so big. There's so much yeah. stuff to do. I mean one thing I do hate about this act though is the fact that I don't get my happy buff for a starion because everything is either undead or a plant so I can't have him bite people and that makes me sad I want him to be happy Shit, he's level nine. Oh, we'll level up after this fight. Are we level six right now? No, we're level seven. Okay. Something about cutting your throat? Oh, I should have sneak attacked. Oh, no. He doesn't even need it. Yeah! Dude, that was so loud for no reason. Dun -dun. Nice. 
I know something. I am very scared <laughs> of big boy there. Um, maybe I go up there and I throw spirit guardians on her. Maybe the, uh, this is what I mean. She needs to have higher constitution. with Australian. No, my boy. She bonus attack. Huh? I guess she just sprinted strike then. I don't know why she couldn't bonus attack. to do. I can't guide in bolt because he's right here. Shadowheart, what do I do with you, girly? I can't sunbeam because that'll get Karlak and a star in. I guess just... And you can't do that. I guess it's lava. Oh, that actually hit! Good job! Uh, 80% with advantage that I missed? Okay. Sure. 
Mission off. <laughs> Say bye -bye. <laughs> I love this <it>, laughs. What the hell? Look at all the effects on her right now. Lord. Wrath, blade ward, digestive juices, digestive juices. Infernal Fury, Frenzied, Blade Ward, Frenzied Strain, Threatened, Reckless Attack. <laughs> what is the plan, Shadowheart? Granny Bolt. Oh. <gasps> Hit that crit. Twenty-eight. Okay. the level up button. More key points. Damn, do you get a new- do you get key points every level? So I can have up to- or they're gonna have like up to 12 key points by the end of this game. Cause that's crazy. <laughs> Marshall Adept? No. Uh, I don't know. What feet should I give them? Should I increase their abilities again? I really need. Oh, I'm gonna give a star in. Uh, alert, I think. Um, this is this is the worst part. I never know what feats to give them, so I'm always like, err. Honestly, none of these seem like particularly. important for them to have so maybe savage attacker no I'm giving savage attacker to Carlac I'll just do ability improvement I'll increase I won. <laughs> um, Constitution. Hold on. Skill. Game proficiency in three skills. Oh, yeah. They've got, like, no proficiency in anything. That's what I should do. Let's do proficiency in... Um... 
persuasion. Perception? Perception and that's a sleight of hand, but there's no point I have a story with me at all times. Nature. Is there any point even doing nature at this point? I guess perception. Efficiency and the ability to do this. No. <laughs> I wonder actually if I should do Arcana instead of Perception. Persuasion or deception more? Because I feel like one of them should be Arcana. I'll do a card. I'll do persuasion. <gasps> oh yeah, the persuasion is important for late game. Give him. What was I giving him? Alert. Shadow heart. Oh, divine strike radiant. <gasps> oh, I just sold it. Oh well. It's okay, I don't think it was better than this armor anyway. Look at it! It looks so good! She's so pretty. Um, uh, I'm trying to think, I don't want... Should I go blindness? Yeah, I'll do blindness actually. Oh, uh, and then what was I gonna give Shadow Heart? Oh. Ability? Okay. Her strength is 15? Sheesh, okay. Upgrade her wisdom or her strength? I think I'll even out her wisdom. And then Carlac. 77 health. I was gonna give her savage attacker. We like absolutely demolished that thing and it was level nine. Putrefied tumor? Look at the way this guy died. <laughs> He's like curled up in a ball. 
Shadow Heart, are you? Are you good, girl? You're going through it, aren't you? Aren't you? spend my time looking at those things. They don't give me anything. What's hiding here? What's hiding here? me to think I'd fare better than the other treasure hunters in this god's cursed wasteland, but the promise of a cursed beast as a trophy was a temptation I couldn't leave behind. Bloody needle blades took me by surprise, though I'm not sure how. How could I have expected anything less? It's all so much worse than I imagined. Found a key up here, but unless it unlocks a chest full of water and sunlight, I've no use for it. Self-immolation. Like why? That is the house where we fought. Okay, this is actually a perfect vantage. This map isn't as big as I thought it was. That's where you come down from the mountain pass. Over there is where you meet the goblins. Okay. That's the toll house. The house of healing. Or no, maybe that's the way name. No, 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 no. That's uh that's the house of healing but that's the uh no that is the tool house it has to be because that's the mason shop and the mason whatever i think that's got to be the tool house then side or no that just leads me to the house I'm pretty sure but I'll go that way just so I can get the um <laughs> star in uh I'll go that way so I get the bro <laughs> are you good my love <laughs> Going through it. Um, was it this way that Hells. the curse has torn open the ground itself? Yep, it sure has. But oh, we don't want to talk to anybody. Okay, 
I thought that she couldn't actually jump there, but... Oh good, it gave me the checkpoint. Awesome. I didn't even actually have to go over there. Oh, more than I agree. Okay. Um Now that's a Dwergar. Shit and nearness, shit and scouting tasks. You Dwergar find another way through the shadow curse. Sure, right, shit and near. Whoever laid this curse knew their business a lot better than you do. What was that? Gnomes, gnomes, I killed you in the underdark, you can't be. Ha 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 ha, I found your way through the curse, shouldn't near the way through the shadow curse is to let the curse go through you. Ha 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 ha. The words of the most sane. has changed in our fair town. The moon used to shine so brightly here. We'd all stand out, our shoulders bared, our faces upturned, drinking in her blessings like milk. Such darkness now. I must watch the moon in secret from my window or late at night when the town's asleep. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the last sane person left in Wraithwind. seen survival. They're just getting them all. There it is. The shadow house. Is there anything else here? I don't believe so. Can you continue on over here? speak in a British accent all of a sudden. Yeah, see here's the... where you find the goblins. Looks like the Dryder's caravan came from here. Hey, up. At least they won't be returning. Wretched little creatures. 
Very true. I love how the story has always got something to say. Like, yes, babe, you speak your mind. This camera. Dude, the flames are like glitching out on Carlac. She's got like a disco ball effect going on. Go, go, please move. Move your body. <laughs> oh my gosh, good lord. <laughs> I've had to fight so much. Don't know how that opened, but sure. Ooh, good tools. Well, hello, a star in. <laughs> Just all up in the camera. How do you get there? Oh. Duh. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Ah! <laughs> what is happening? Please, just get back down over there. This spot. This spot was a little rough with Talessa. Why is there a severed head here? With a flick of the wrist. Dude, these DCs have not been difficult at all. Well, they're difficult when you get a grit fail. What is happening? Double crit fail? I was about to say, why should we get a nat 20 then? The only way to get there is from through here. There is something over there. Is there a way to get up there? Maybe not. No, there definitely is. There's a path right there. Maybe it's not a path. Sure looks like one though. Jeez, chill out. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, can I go to the bathroom? I will be right back.
Tschüss. <laughs> Another reason I hate Act 2, there's like no chatter. Where's the whimsy? I want to hear y'all talking about whatever. Being cuties. can't make it fly right next to the end of the map. I'm gonna confuse this part of the map.
Oh, well. That's singular gold. Dear mom, you forgot me and that's not nice. The last time I forgot to tie my shoes good, good and tight, you gave me a clout in the ear. So I hope someone does that to you. But if you can, can you come back, please? Or if you meet Mr. Leopardiddle, Swires, send him because he's famous and quite good at helping people and I need help, mom. I feel funny here in the dark. The dark goes movie movie. It hurts. My head feels like porridge. It hurts. Help me, Sister Sway. Sister Sway? Oh, Mr. Sway. Mom. Oh, mom. Sorry, I wasn't brave. everything here. Baldur's Gate. A pile of belongings, forsaken to the curse, so that their owners could escape with their lives. An old map in a druidic style of what appear to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate, and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry, go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. Such a pretty view. Oh, by an ox, I think. Was this one of the refugees from the Druid's Grove? But sure was. Villages. Refugee's journal. A tiefling's journal charting the journey from Elturel to the Emerald Enclave, and now onto the road to Baldur's Gate. The ox just up and died. It started choking out of nowhere and then keeled over. We tried to pull the cart, but the ox knocked the wheel off when it went down, and the thing is in splinters. The others want to grab what we can and keep going, but this place feels wrong. My skin is crawling like something is watching us from the darkness. No one else is talking much, but I can tell they feel the same. Blessings upon you. Fine. What's on your mind? 
How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. Her hair looks so soft in this lighting. Soldier. This beast didn't go down without a fight. Oh, Gail's got something for me. Oh, oh, Gail scene. What the fuck, Halson? Told this man to go to last lane. Once he do, he comes back to camp. Better. Greetings. Jerk. I love how there's a singular bed in this place, and it's right in front of the fire. Well 
soldier. May the darkness protect you. Cutie patootie. Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? Can you call me my sweet again? I love that color blue on him. It looks so good. I oh, know, give me a second, Gil. I'll be right with you. To... You wish to speak? Yeah, I told you to go to freaking last light, you jerk. Left me high and dry. I gotta go pet. Pet the babes. to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. Very well, show me the way. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. Of this scene is so cute. I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Um... You seem especially philosophical this evening. Are you all right? I will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is this truly what you want, to die for the promise of Mistress Forgiveness? Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Obviously. Mistress Forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. 
My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. Why are you so sure it's inevitable? We haven't even found this heart of the absolute yet. I can feel it. Ever since we set foot in this strange, corrupted land. The closer we get, the heavier my own heart becomes. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon, even in this place. I'm not going anywhere, Gail. I'll be by your side, whatever Dawn brings. Yes. But there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. <laughs> Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me. But it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to seize it. I just cannot fathom what that might be, other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone, either. Stay with him and watch the stars in silence. Story is so loud. <laughs> Has to be Carlac. I love that scene so much. This is why I don't get why people hate Gail, because that's such a cute scene. And it's not even like it's mostly platonic. Obviously it'd probably be different if you're actually dating him, but I've only ever gotten it as platonic, and it's just so cute. I love it. Uh, I wonder if he'll have anything to say. What's on your mind? I'm glad you opened up to me that night under the stars. You want to talk about it further? Case. There is little more to be said on the subject. The best thing you and I can do is march on towards whatever awaits us. The end may be close. Time to reap what we have sown. Okay. Well... something special. I know. I, it sounds awful. 
just a second. How can I help? With... Sixty-six. That's with him not even being in my party. Like, it's so easy to get approval for Gail. Like, I could easily get him full. I don't know what to give him. Dude, his stats are crazy. Gosh, he has like zero. Seeds. Seeds. His his constitution go up by one, put him up by eight HP. I'm gonna give him durable. How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. I'm sorry. I want to get the mod so that I can have you all in my party at the same time, because I always feel bad. Well met. That's the spirit. does better damage. Stick that there. Oh, I have to level up my belt too.
only 25. Still breathing, despite everything. Well, Ned. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. I'm sure. And just when things were warming up. I know, I love you. Greetings. It is done. to give her melee or mage slayer wait no I guess, I don't know. Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. I love that Vizel's the only one that's like, okay, I get it. Just what I think. much makes sense because she's a soldier. Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? Yes. Darling, I thought you'd never, never ask. Lead on. Okay. 
Okay. So tomorrow... I think I'm actually gonna stop here for today. Um... I'm gonna stop here and then tomorrow we can um, finish doing the stuff here in the battlefield and then actually go into the this area do like the house of healing and the winning moon and stuff like that but yeah we got further than I thought we would today, especially considering the lack of uh, stuff that I did at the beginning. So, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and stop here, and then I should see you tomorrow. So, yeah. Bye-bye!